Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Tony Ferguson and Tyron Woodley. So here's the former UFC welterweight champion. They also call him the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. Knocked out Robbie Lawler in 2016 to first win the belt, held it for several years, and still has the credentials as one of the best 170-pound fighters on this race. A-plus athlete is Tyron Woodley. A guy that can explode into his strikes and into his takedowns like no one we've ever seen before. The way that he backpedaled and then knocked out Jay Heron was unbelievable. The way that he just flatlined Josh Koscheck was crazy. He has a right hand that you do not want to be on the receiving end of. Tyron Woodley is truly a special, special fighter. He has had some issues injury-wise with that right hand. He told us before the fight, 100% coming in tonight. When you punch that hard, John, right. you're going to have some problems with the right hand. I cannot speak to that, but I will <laughs> take your word for it. John's got power. Low power. Well, he was the first man to amass a double-digit winning streak in the shark-infested lightweight waters in the UFC. The former interim champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, back on the proven ground. Tony Ferguson was able to navigate the toughest division in the UFC. He's one of the most diverse, nasty strikers the UFC has ever seen. And you couple that with that college wrestling background. Every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know you have your hands full. One of the most exciting fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is an eight-point striker, outstanding submission game, has a lot of good chokes in his arsenal. He'll lean on that Darce choke, has a pretty good triangle as Watch well. That low single. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tony Ferguson ready to prove yet again that he is one of, if not the best lightweight on the Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Ferguson is 36. Woodley is 38. Ferguson is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Wadley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness, wow. and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You wanna avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has the body, I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Ferguson's overhand punch to the head, it doesn't get there, it was telegraphed and it was blocked. Now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, Takes him for a ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the ground? It's it's a, that. Not, I mean, honestly, I've never heard <laughs> I knew that was I've coming. <laughs> oh, wow. That happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Dig and kick. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Don't be afraid to raise 
the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in. Waving right it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. 30 total strikes have now landed for Tony Ferguson. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. One minute. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. And he's out. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, second round now, Tony Ferguson versus Tyron Wood. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any time. Oh! Huge right hand! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Here now, Bruce Buffer Ladies with the official decision. Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Tony Elkakui Ferguson. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was never hoping. He was sure that he could get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.